Ashley from the Availy social media team coming to you live from HIM 17 day two. We're here with Jeff Chester, our chief, Re chief revenue officer, um, talking about what's going on in healthcare in HIMS. Jeff, how are you doing today? I'm good. I only walked nine miles. Only nine. <laughs> Not too much. So what's the number one inhibitor of healthcare today? Uh, from my perspective, hands down, it's the lack of uh, data exchange between all the stakeholders. That's uh, health plan to providers, providers to providers, providers to members, health plan to members. Um, it's a $300 billion problem in a fee-for-service world. Um, if we don't solve it in the value-based care, consumer-centric world, that problem is going to only grow. And the challenge that we have is there's no more margin to fund this move from value-based care and consumerism or to value-based care and consumerism. So we have to solve this data exchange problem and draw it down at, on that $350 billion of waste. So to me, data exchange has got to get better. And I think it's kind of ironic when you look at where data exchange is actually pretty good and contemporary, it's member to member. And so I think maybe we need to look at why that works and align provider to provider and provider to health plan around that type of an experience. Absolutely. So on the flip side, what are you most excited about in healthcare for the next year or couple of years? Uh, flipping what I just said. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I think that um, there are a lot of initiatives in place. I sat in on a session around fire. I sat in a session around HIEs. We're starting to see with value-based care and consumer-centric payment models, we're starting to see the alignment and incentives. And that's been probably the biggest inhibitor of data exchange is the fact that providers and health plans don't have aligned incentives. So now we're aligning incentives and we're solving the technology challenge. Uh, I saw yesterday where four of the major EMR practice management systems have agreed on the FHIR standards to exchange information. And I think this will go a long way in solving some of these challenges we're having in the data exchange. That's awesome. Um, so what do you like most about HIMSS? Uh, it's, it's an unbelievable opportunity to do three days of research and find out what's happening in the market. Um, look at the competitive uh, companies and see what they're doing. But also look at the innovative new companies. Actually go to the smaller booths. Those are the startups. Yeah. And you get to see kind of what's around the corner because sometimes the big companies aren't moving as fast as those startups. So I spend more time looking at the smaller booths than I do at the bigger booths. But I think um, I've, one thing that's a reflection on what's happening in healthcare, I've been coming to this conference for 15 plus years, and it's always a lot of buzzwords and acronyms. Yes. It was EHR, it was meaningful use, it was high tech. But when you look at it today, there are more buzzwords and acronyms than times 10. But it's not because we're getting better at marketing, which we are. Right. It's because the problems are so significant today. And there's so many things going on between population health, data exchange, interoperability, value-based care. There are so many things going on. This, these rooms behind me are just filled with solutions. Yeah. So last question, what do you think technology is going to do to solve those problems in the next couple of years? I think uh, we're going to get data exchange right. We've mm -hmm. talked about that, right? Sure. But then we're going to get into big data. Yeah. And think about data exchange right if it's sitting on top of big data. So you reach into this big data, you have this analytics, you have things like Watson, and now you have the ability to spread it out to the network. Sure. Providers will, com will communicate with the providers at the right time, the right place. Members will communicate with all the people they need to communicate with, including other members, about common issues that they have and how they solve those problems. So I think you just see this network and data exchange go down to big data. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time and uh, enjoy the rest of your conference. Thank you. Thanks.